Okay, and here would be on this Easter Sunday a video of this Blue 80 Regal. Quick underview, overview, with it all laden in very heavy OEM Rusty Jones undercoating. And I just pumped seven cans of PV Blaster and Marble Mr. Oil to throth the bottom side. New Monroe shocks, new Monroe springs, beautiful pig, no leaks, differential, it's called a pig. In the other video you'll see the car naked in the floor pan, which too is pristine, and some surface rust on the new pipes. This uh, catalytic converter on this one was omitted and straight piped. Nice little bump in power. We're looking at uh, we're looking at the floor pan, and this is what's particularly important to me. This is what all the lines look like, and the frame, and the mounts, and the gussets. Very important that that uh, that that not be rusty, and that is not the fact, uh, not the case here at all. Get into the front. Control arms, new Monroe shocks in the front, would be the braking calipers, engine, air dam, new stabilizer Moog leak link pins, easy for you to say, a radiator and the core support. And let's look at this radiator condenser. There's a piece of lint I have to clean off it. <laughs> and the radiator, OEM, beautiful. Looking for green rod on the liner, uh-uh, you won't find it. Looking at a bad core, no, you won't find it. See the bumper brackets and the gussets, grill springs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. New Mellings oil pump. Didn't need it. I always upgrade them though. Now we can see these little uh, features better. Nice tires. Great footprint. And all four. Here would be the right front and the left front pulling around my drop card light and let's look at the spare tire well let's look way up here inside the outer fenders in the frame you can see those plugs are still in there Fuel tank straps, neck, fuel tank. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Fender wells. Look at all the undercoating. And it's not masking anything. It's quite, uh, quite beautiful. Rockers. Look at the frame still gleaming here. Caps are all beautiful. Hub caps. Rockers. You going stir crazy? That's to show you. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Okay, and continuing while the car is still up, easy for you to say. I took some wizards here and um, 
I thought I'd show the bottom side of things being rocker moldings look at that here's the right front there's our bumper guard into the bumper oh my god is that beautiful I'll say that a lot sorry I'm I'm a little a uh, little biased and our chrome here just gorgeous look at nothing's perfect and this car is no exception I've said that before and in, uh, in other walks of life with things. Get behind my rails here. So, uh, that being said, we can have a look at the at the rocker molding on the bottom on the right side. Just gorgeous. My God, look at that finish. There he is. Uh, on into uh, the right rear rocker molding, which should be here. You see in the wheel wells, I showed you that earlier. There would be a mud flap screw, still there. To the back rear quarter. And again, and our sun's getting probably pretty bright. Um, looking up the side of the car, is that, oh boy, I'm biased, of course. Is that beautiful or what? Here are, or would be the bumper bottoms. And that beautiful chrome with that pretty black, white accented bumper strip. And on to the left rear quarter extension panels there's a little that's a little bit of there it's gone undercoating or something um, <clears throat> into the uh, wheel opening moldings in the left rear And the wheel wells. Oh God, are they nice. All the way back down with those stainless steel rocker moldings. And the bottom reveal or rocker molding here. Going forward. But man, look at that. Blue as the sky is beautiful. And sorry about this. We'll continue on. The rocker molding. You see in the frame. I like videos. Pictures are cool. They have their place. <clears throat> I'm more of a video guy. Put up or shut up. It's a good theme. And again, while nothing's mint even new gee for the kind of money here you know what I mean a Chevy Spark doesn't cost when I'm asking for this I mean would you trade come on okay let's look at the front bumper here on the bottom looking for pitting go ahead look look at the lens look at the depth of the beauty of the lens look at the stainless steel surround see pits no you won't there he is again. <laughs> I haven't put any armor on the bumper horn cushions yet. And that impact strip. Oh, God, is that pretty? I haven't even polished that yet, as I just said. And here would be the other turn signal lens. And the slots, the jacket, if you were to have a flat. Just notice the chrome, notice the details. And that takes us uh, a 360. So we can look at our grill and our front end here. Looking for flakes, go ahead, I'll go slow. Looking for pitting on all the stainless steel badging. 
Um, looking for a lot of things. You won't see it here. You won't see a bug either because I never drove it. That's the way it's been. I'll have to figure it all out. Uh, for gosh, nearing 20 years, this hasn't been on the road. Let's work our way to the top side. Okay, and as we work our way down, we're now midway. Can I show you the beautiful chrome? Oh man, look at the reveals. Look at the grill. Look at all the metal here. And how absolutely pristine mint it is. Look at the pain on the grill. Again, nothing's perfect. There's some dust in there I'd like to... I'm going to probably blot out with a rag in my finger. You see peel there? Look at the rigidity of the bumpers and the big horns. I have not put armor all on the uh, bumper strip yet. Let me work our way to the other side. Fabulous! Something about an 80 front end in these, uh, in these A bodies. As we look up the driver's side, look at that. Just like a sky blue sapphire. There he is again. I say that a lot. To the mirrors. Here we go around the tower again. Sorry. The door handle paddles. See any paint around the keyholes? It's because they were all removed. This was a repaint, the exact same color. Look at the Regal badge here. Look at how beautiful men it is. Up the sail. I guess they call this a sail panel. Quarter panel. Working our way now aft. The beautiful side marker lights and chrome here. New bumper fillers, custom made. And look at the same on this side as it just glistens in the fluorescent light up the sail. Now I did have a striper hand lay these stripes and what I th it's amazing I'm afraid to tell you what I paid to have it done uh, but it was worth it anyone can just put on a pinstripe but these are hand painted can you, can you see the brush strokes damnedest thing I ever saw I just had my heart in my throat the guy just looked at me like what he give a shit you know I mean it was amazing to watch amazing how he laid them on there all with his fingernail as a guide that was the most amazing part look at the sport mirrors and look at that striping my god is that beautiful our side badging I showed you that seeing's believing I like a video diary and if you want to see the disassembly amid the floors uh, mechanical components all the way down to the moisture barriers of the of the doors themselves uh, you'll see that in that particular tutorial look at that up the side just beautiful just beautiful looking for a ding and a molding mm -mm, you won't find it let's work our way top side Okay, and now we can get a shot of the uh, lighting in the uh, in the back end. And it's daytime, but in the shop here we can see that the lights are up and uh, nicely going. And that rear bumper pad. Anyway, what I wanted a shot of is 
Um, again, this area, the license plate, and I showed you that bumper filler. And while we got it up, let's look at the trunk here. We can see that this, uh, this too, it, look, everything is just the way that it came. I need to probably get a tie strap and get that wire right there uh, tied up. I can do that. And you can see the back seat supports and uh, so on. Look at how clean they are though. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. And here's our deck lid. Beautiful with the jacking instructions and production line number stuff or whatever going down there. Now these didn't have the option code back when this car was around or happening, evolving. But I just want you to see the, uh, the cleanliness. There's, uh, there's still the dot on the, on the center of the, the hood seal there to line it up. See the white dot? <laughs> so anyway, it's the original, uh, original trunk seal. And with that, the actual contours and crevices of the trunk area are, are wonderful. I mean, gee, it's just like going back in time into the showroom, you know, truth be told, and, and driving off a showroom car, and I'll talk more about that. Okay, and we can see the lighting and so on in the side markers, and the beautiful sides and the body, but this is what's important, you know, and again, nothing to hide here. Now I'm going to wipe this out, wipe this out a little bit, but... Are you seeing the seals? I'm going to go for a road test and show you. You know, are you seeing the plugs? Look at the door bottoms. It's incredible. It's incredible. Now, I have touched it up under here. And if you're real anal, you could uh, rust proof it a little bit. But what I'm interested in is, is, are, is there anything wrong with any of this? No. The answer would be no. And the sills here. What's going on there? What are you trying to hide? Look at the Rusty Jones plugs all over it. Nope. What about the jam? Beautiful. And the seals running up. All the uh, all the door seals are, are are very nice. Let's go to the other side. And the original seals uh, here as well, all nice and supple. The beautiful door stripes, all the hardware, identification tags. This one was built in November of 79. And what are these paint codes, body codes, tire pressure, uh, inflation capacity, load, that sort of thing. And, you know, again, let's look at that undercoating plug. And look at this door area. This is again over on the driver's side. Oh God, you make my heart spin. Look at how beautiful. Let's see if I can pan in. I can't really reach it because it's up on the lift. See? And again, with this rocker, I guess we'll call it here. I've yet to wipe this down. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna wipe all this grime here off. But let's, you know, look at the strike plate and everything. Body vents. And you know, I've already been through all this area, but you know, it's just filthy with undercoating. It's just, it's just beautiful everywhere you look. It, again, it's like going back in time. We can see the right door here. God, the carpeting is so plush and rich. The door panels are so vibrant. All the hardwood on the, not hardwood, but the fake simulated wood on the uh, door pull excursions and so forth are, are all there. You can see the instrument panel from down below up here. And I'm going to show you more uh, about that. You can see the illumination running on those instruments. I've got it... Uh, got the lights on right now sorry about the shaky camera and you know look at the chrome and the seats and stuff ah oh, gosh you make my heart sing I thought I said that okay next let's examine the engine compartment and 
uh, here we go with opinion in this uh, with regard to this topic I love this car why it's nice it's simple it's easy it's fun uh, why there's no air there's no factory air look at that heater box there's the fan motor with five screws and a blower motor resistor on that little orange harness right here uh, and a heater core where you take off a plate to remove it look at the cowling look at the air cleaner can the alternator is simple now on that topic it's been rebrushed I cleaned the rotor didn't need it this is my hobby uh, the stator checked puts out wonderfully it's all factory OEM uh, the water pump is new there's nothing wrong with the distributor vacuum can that's been renewed if I recall the AIR pump has been taken apart and lubricated it'll never fail amid the core support here in the radiator and the battery compartment just you know what I want you to see is just how beautiful it is under here and again nothing's perfect it, gee, what do you want for a car 40 years old? But you're just not, you know, you're not going to see this kind of stuff with regard to uh, uh, emission components and so on. Now, if you choose to take all this off, and I can't imagine why you would because everything works wonderfully, you can see that all the vacuum lines down here, for example, and the thermal switches, even the heat risers, all up and running and going. And each vacuum artery has a color. And this schematic on the core on the radiator shroud uh, will tell you where all the various vacuum lines go anyway my point being that it's all OEM it's a show car it's just like driving it off the dealership showroom floor you know lost in time now if aesthetics are important to you and you wanna do something well what if I took apart the wiper motor and and put some grease on the bearings and oil the bearing pot. Sorry, it's done. What about the washer? Sorry, it's done. Uh, but here's something cosmetically you could do. You could pop off that master cylinder, two 15 millimeter bolts. You could take out that tandem brake booster and you know it's got some surface rust on it, being my own critic. And you could go after that. But here what we have is a 231 2 barrel. Um, this is pre OBD1 there's no computer, there's no MC paddle, there's no sensors and again all the originality all the vacuum lines all the factory wrappers all the GM part numbers on the on the line all the stickers on the vacuum lines and the charcoal canister purge tank and the power steering and the pump and the AR pipe and the and the clamps the banding clamps and the arteries off the air pump for fresh air when it had a catalytic converter to be emission compliant again uh, not to babble anyway they're all there look at the cowl look at the wiper motor look at the wiper arms with the original stainless steel blades where you can replace the inserts they're all still there beautiful engine just runs like a little fine watch it's so fun to work on a little 231 V6. Now, in that same thought with the critic again, here's the hood blanket. He's original. Now, you could take this off if you so desire, if you're that anal, and you could probably comb it. Uh, it's probably two inches thick, and you could clean it up. Perhaps you could reverse it to the other side. I haven't the time to really get into that. I'm, again, I'm just being a critic, my own critic. But I want to I wanna look at the hood here. I want to be sure that this isn't all rotten. And my God, nothing could be further from the truth. There's some surface rust on the, on the catch, on the hood catch, but it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The lift support, there's only one on one side. These did not have uh, dual lift supports. That's new. Uh, the carburetor's been all gone through and overhauled. The alternator, the distributor, I told you about all that. The AR pump. Uh, everything works. Uh, we have here is basic cruise control and uh, having said that we'll go into the interior and get some interior shots but there is the engine bay. Okay and here we are finally topside and now you can see the hood in all its luster in the sun. I hope you can see it. Here's maybe an example where a video won't do, uh, won't do it justice. Now again 
being my own critic. Uh, in some areas, and it seems to only be topside, there are fine little microscopic cracks, and I'm not going to be able to get that in the video. In the finish, in the clear, I think. And I went back to the painter and he said, look, what you do is you take some, I don't know, what is it, 1,000 grit or something? I'm not a finish guy, I have no idea. And you lightly wet sand it if that bothers you. And look, you can't even see it. But again, I, wanna, I want everything out in the open here. Uh, and, and do away with that. You would, uh, you would probably get that all out. Around the pillar again. My God, look at that roof. Gorgeous. All the reveal moldings, all the stainless steel moldings, and then finally there would be the deck lid. There are no body dings in this car. Oh my God, has it ever been wrecked? Are you kidding me? Never. In 20 years, this car hasn't been even been so much as wet. In all my time, it's never been wet. The doors are laid and filthy with undercoating. It will not rot. It is impossible. And every nook and cranny in the trunk and in the well cavities are all filthy with undercoating and, and, uh, and grease. I'm rather anal, about, uh, rather anal about such things. And we can see the roof over on this side. You never wash a car because the, the water sits in the body. And thus, those of us that are uh, as anal as I will uh, will soon tell you that you get yourself a duster, or you get wizards and you just wipe it off. You wipe it down, but don't get it wet. You don't get a classic car wet. So next, we'll do the interior, and I'll get it outside for that. Okay, are you ready? Good. Sit down, because you're not going to believe it. Here's the inside. <laughs> And look, I'm busting with pride here because these are how my cars are. Look at this door panel and how absolutely beautiful the velour is on it. And the leather. And the top. And the chrome. Check out the window. And you're down. You don't need any power windows. This is a nice basic car. They work great. The door insides are beautiful. The rails inside, the, the scissoring mechanism for the uh, window regulator, and all the nylon rollers have all been greased. They're filthy with it. All taken apart. Look at the chrome on the paddle. Look at the mirror control. Just gorgeous. See the jams? How nice they are? Now let's have a look. Now, I want you to listen to this. This car has 52,500 miles on it. And what I did is I upgraded this instrument pod with one out of another car. So I have the optional gauges, that being battery and coolant, because I like to look at parameters. There used to be just gauge A for fuel, B, and if you got a cheap one uh, and you didn't have any options, you just have a blank here and you'd have no clock. That clock, by the way, works great. Let me turn the switch on. I got a dome lamp defeat switch under here. There he goes. Jarrett beep. And off he goes. It keeps excellent time. It's been all gone through. It's deadly accurate. Look at this. I put, I'm afraid to tell you how much money I spent. A beautiful sport wheel, a Buick sport wheel out of a uh, T-type in the car that's exactly the same color and matches the uh, blue interior. You'll note that this has a couple of vent poles underneath. Simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what this car is. Look at the column. Look at the shrouds. Look at the hazard button and how beautiful it still is. All OEM. The heater will put you right out. If you want some fresh air, you pull the vent throbs underneath the uh, column. And if you want more vented air, you put it the vent and then turn the fan here on. You have more air. A beautiful AM FM radio. Works great. Look at the uh, wood grain on the on the panel here. How beautiful it is! Look at the beautiful condition of the leather. 
Look at the dash outlets and the simulated wood grain plaque. Look at the glove box. Check it out. There's even a litter bag to match the vehicle's interior color. color. There's the owner's manual. I do have all records. I even wrote a diary out with everything that I did. Every last detail. Every receipt for everything that I did to the car is all here. Look at that dash. My gosh. My heart's going again. I get that way. Okay, hang on. Now, let's look at the seats. Look at the chrome extensions on the side. They're gorgeous. If you see little, there's a little piece of lint. There's not a tear, there's not a rip, and the color is so beautiful and rich, and you just sink in them, they're beautiful. Look at the structure, look at the condition. This is a non-smoker car. Look at the headrests, beautiful leather, rich, beautiful. They go up and down, of course, wonderfully. Let's have a look at the back seat. Look at the condition of the leather in the back. Each seat has, its, has an ashtray. There's an armrest here that we can throw down, but look at the back seat, my God. Look at the seat belts. Look at how, how rich this interior is. It's just absolutely stunning to find a car like this. You're going back to the showroom. How many times have you gone to look at a car and everybody says, oh, it's mint, it's this, it's that, only to go find a rusted, rotted wreck? You're not going to find that here. That's not what this car is. It's literally like you're driving it right off the showroom floor. And I'm going to tell you what, you'll never find another one like it. Put up or shut up. It doesn't exist. Look at the original floor mats. How gorgeous they are. They're still rich and beautiful blue. Look at all the metal and the swivels on the 50-50 on the, on the seats. Some may call them 60-40s. I don't know. I'm not sure. The back window. There isn't a rear window defogger. Kiss. Again. There's the dome lamp. Yes, the headlamp, headlamp, the headliner has been all professionally redone. It's just as tight and wonderful as you'd ever want it to be. There's a map light here in the center, right on top of the uh, rear view mirror. All the uh, leading or silvering, whatever it's called, on the mirrors are wonderful. On the uh, side view mirror, rear view mirror. So, uh, you know, you can, you can just see that the car is just immaculate. You know, I mean, that never happens. And look, here it did. <laughs> Everybody says and talks a mean game and you go and it's something else. No way, not on my watch. You won't find that. So let's look at the other side. Look at these beautiful door handles. Oh my God, aren't you beautiful. Look at the beautiful condition of the, the now passenger side door. Again, all the excursions, all OEM and original. Nothing all dug and gouged or scratched. The retaining screws, all still there, all OEM. All the stitching, and especially in the seats. Man, oh man, look at that, aren't you so? You are new. I am back in 1979. Geez, that's incredible, isn't it? It's going to be 40 years old. Look at what you got. You'll never find another one. It doesn't exist. I promise you. These are just so beautiful and rich, these seats. So here we can see the overall instrument panel. Now, there is another video that you'll be able to look at. You want to see what the floor pans look like? Put up or shut up. You'll see them. There's not a pin prick in the body of this car anywhere. Look at I'm so anal. I even cut out... Uh, carpet runners here to put them on top of my mats, but look at that mat. That's an OEM mat, and the sill plates are all OEM. See, I put this um, walkway stuff, you know, with these little serrations, this, these carpet runners, under that carpet to keep it and preserve it so it's wonderful. Look at the condition of the interior carpet, front and back, everywhere. Looking for a wear hole? Looking for worn out brake pedals? There aren't enough miles on the car to have all that. One of the key factors in looking at anything is the, uh, is the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal and how worn it is. You'll see that this car is 100% authentic. Having said that about the speedometer, which again, I upgraded the pod to get the uh, optional instrumentation. 
look at the little reveals and crevices in the seats and all the stitching just absolutely beautiful the ashtray on this side look at the beautiful velour in this cloth seat over here in the back gorgeous you just you, you're just shrouded with luxury you know and how cars used to be made and how things were done uh, to a matter of quality that's just unprecedented today Look at it again, I'm, I'm naturally I'm biased. Look at the seat belts and the buckles and how beautiful they are. Look at the wrappers and everything all on them and how rich the the uh, wrappers uh, that go surround the buckles and the buckles themselves are in their condition. It's just like going back into a time portal, this car. Just amazing. I know I'm babbling. Alright, let's take her for a ride. Let's check these doors out. You've already seen them, but watch. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at you run, you sweet little thing. Just gorgeous. Pop a distributor rotor in it. Maybe change the spark plugs. I wish I could tell you to do that, but you can't because they're all new. All the gaskets are new. The, the valve cover gaskets, the intake manifold gasket, the lifters I decided to replace while I was inside the engine. All with GM OEM parts. Look at the body mounts. The body biscuits, I've replaced them. See the new washers on the energy, they're called energy uh, hockey pucks or body mounts. And they're in every position in this A body's frame. Those of you who are real anal uh, may call this or classify this car as a G-body, and it isn't. It's an A-body. All Century Estate Wagons, Centuries, and Regals for 78 through 80 were A-bodies. And I got a big lecture at the, uh, at the dealership about that. So in these positions here and here at the factory, they didn't put in, I forget what the numbers are, maybe seven or eight with regard to those body mounts. Well, with this energy suspension kit, those are in there. So every body biscuit is where it belongs amid a frame that's just golden the day as if it were made. Gorgeous. You'll hear the fan clutch roar when it starts up and then it comes right off. It's all there, it doesn't leak. It's perfect. The radiator's new, the, or, or the fluid, I should say, is new in the radiator. The radiator itself is original. I had it all rotted out, R-O-D, rod, rotted. And what they do is they unsolder the tanks, and they send a rod through to be sure the core is clean and clear. I do that with all my cars. Fun, fun, fun. What are you going to do here that's going to be any problem? Replace a vacuum brake? Sorry, I already have. What about the EGR valve? Sorry, I already did. What if you take out the water pump? Nope, I already told you that. What about a fuel pump? Nope, it's a brand new Delco part. I can turn key this car and drive all the way to Alaska. Is there a road to Alaska? I think there is. <laughs> it's, the, it's that nice. Look at the filter. Look at the filter. You put your pan under there, you want to grease the front end, you can have a blast. Talk about bonding with your car. Look at the old cooler lines for the tranny cooler. You can see them going all the way back to the tranny. They're filthy with oil. They're wonderful. All the Teflon tape on the fittings. See the shocks? Suspension parts, all filthy and grease control arms. And we got a nice trim height too on the car. It's sitting nice and proud, not too low, not too high. Right now there's about three quarters of a tank of fuel in it and I love that trim height. It's just absolutely perfect. Let's go for a ride now. Okay, and another quick note. The key in reminder of course obviously works as well as the horn. Everything works on my cars. Um, that sounds arrogant I know but uh, you can be assured that uh, I'll have no area of gray even. All right, there it is.